to deal with her latest news in Shortland Street. I'm fine. Just a bit ahead of... <laughs> you think I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. Everything is running right on time in that department. It doesn't always rule out the possibility. Yes. How the hell did that happen? Well, I think I might have had something to do with it. But I just had my period. Yeah, like I said, there's no guarantee. I guess it was lighter than usual. I thought it was the exercise. No, it's a surprise, sure. But it could be a good one. But why don't you just sit down? No, I'm fine. Look, I just need you to know that I love you, okay? And I will support you no matter what. Thank you. God, I need a drink. <clears throat> no, maybe not. Well, maybe just a little one. No. Maybe you're right. Could be a good thing. Couldn't it? You better believe it. <laughs> Tried ringing you last night. I must have switched off my phone. I wanted to apologize about Scotty. Are you okay? Yes, I'm very busy. Mrs. Lava, this is Dr. Giovanni. He'll be excising your neck abscess this morning. I thought you were doing it. Unfortunately, I've been called into another surgery. No way. I'm sorry? I don't want him operating on me. Why not, Mrs. Lava? Dr. Giovanni is an excellent surgeon. Oh, please, isn't it obvious? I really don't know what you're suggesting, Mrs. Lava, but I don't... I can promise you, Mrs. Lava, you'll be in very good hands. I've had a lot of experience and my qualifications are exemplary. In the third world, maybe. Refusing surgery means you'll go straight to the bottom of a very long list, meaning a very long wait. I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't look as though I have a choice, does it? Prep her for theatre, Shanti. Thank you, Mrs. Lather. You all right? Fine. We can take a complaint out against the miserable old bat, but that would involve having to see her again. <sighs> right now, I'm more concerned about my list. Shall I ultrasound the abscess before surgery? The original lump was biopsy before admission. It's since developed into the abscess. So no malignancy, obviously. From memory, only mild sinus histiocytosis, but it's your call if you want to examine her again. I guess that won't be necessary. Did you sleep last night? You looked dreadful. Hopefully. Don't stress. You'll have Tanya in there with you, and I'm only a phone call away if you need me. Not that you will. I have every confidence in you. So, uh, <clears throat> how far along am I? About five weeks. So, a week since my last period was due. Bang on. So you conceived about three to four weeks ago. Are you sure? Afraid so. Not good news? Oh, no, totally. Couldn't be happier. Excellent, because everything's looking really good. Congratulations. Thanks. You all set for some poetic justice? Yeah, of course. Can't wait to hear. Mm. Everybody has a fatal flaw. And in Bradley Fox's case, I'm guessing it's greed. Yeah, you guess right. So, what's the plan? I've got a mate onto it. He works down the docks and I've got him... Wait a second. Pete, mate. How you doing? Yeah, all right. Pete, Hunter Mackay, Hunter Mackay, Pete. Hi, Pete. I was just telling Hunter how you're sitting on a container of goods for me. They're in need of a good home. I better have a comfy bed after surgery. This one's atrocious. We'll see what we can do. Mrs. Slouser, I thought you might like to meet your anaesthetist, Dr. Kelly. And where are you from? Russia, Afghanistan? Here, actually. Not that it matters. <gasps> Tender mercies. We're a minority around here these days. Did you at least train here? Not some bamboo hut somewhere. You have a relatively simple surgery, Mrs. Lowther. We don't foresee any problems. Dr. Kelly here will talk you through the anaesthetic and I will see you in theatre. How are things going with that awful woman? 
removing her racism gland first, then the abscess. In with love, out with hate. You can sew her mouth up. Thanks for your support. Anytime. And about Scotty last night. Sorry. Let's forget about last night. It's done. Okay. So, good luck today. Thanks. Hey. How you doing? Look like you had a home run last night. Oh, am I right? What happened? <laughs> Nothing I care to discuss. Oh, as if she was all over you. Talk about a sure thing. <sighs> yes, as you say. A home run. Boom! You sly old dog, you. That's official. I'm knocked up. Come here. You okay? Uh, just a bit queasy. I, I suppose that's just the shock. Yeah, well, it's hardly surprising. No, I meant what I said last night, okay? About choices. There's, there's plenty of time. I don't want to railroad you into anything, all right? I might take you up on the time bit, get some perspective. Yeah, okay, sure. But, well, you know, there's lots to talk about. Only I might get away for a while, by myself. Maybe head down to Mum's. Well, getting perspective and spending time with Fran, hardly conducive, I would have thought. You sure you want to do that? Yeah, I just need a break from Ferndale. Too many ghosts lurking around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if that's how you feel. When will you go? As soon as Scotty can clear it. Thank you for understanding. Alice, you're kidding. No, no, no. Janice ran the test this morning. Exactly how pregnant? Well, only just. Five weeks or thereabouts. Wow. Congratulations. Uh, yes? Yeah, well, Alice is still a bit shocked, understandably. She's not too sure whether she wants to go ahead with it or not. Ah, what are her reservations? Who knows? That particular information she is saving for a big, long conflab with her mother. Ooh, Fran. Yeah. <laughs> Who no doubt will remind her how chaotic and unpleasant motherhood can be. How do you feel about fatherhood? Well, I'm wrapped. Why wouldn't I be? Well... You raised two kids, they've left home. No one would blame you for opting for freedom. Yeah, I'm ready to give it another shot. You know, I was with Huya, and I, I, I am still. But it's Alice's decision. Well, apparently, now Fran's too. Hmm. So where's she at? Happy? Worried? Dead against? Well, at first she was shocked, then she was happy. Now she's off to her mum's, oh, go figure. Well, this is a bit of a wild child. She may not be ready for nappies and nursing just yet. No, I think she'll make one hell of a mum. Yeah? You think her head's in the right place for something this big so soon? Well, either way, she'll get every bit of support she needs from me. You're, you're busy, I'll let you get back to it. Yeah.